Hey everyone, it's your girl Daniqua, aka Big Danny, the Big Boss. Now I'm playing with y'all. It's me, Daniqua, and I want to say, hey, how y'all doing? Thank you for joining me on my journey. This is my second video, and before we get to the video, I want to say thank you, everyone who's watching, who, who's watching my last video, who liked, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. What's up y'all it's me Danny and I'm back with another YouTube video and as you can see this video is a chit chat get ready with me um, more or less about me <laughs> and my business and how I came along and all that good juicy stuff um, I did a poll on Instagram and Facebook and a lot of people wanted me to do a chit chat so here I am doing my little chit chat and you know my little makeup my little routine that I do everyone asks me like oh my god if your face look good girl how you do your makeup like everyone else on YouTube that's how I do it but since it was highly requested here I am as I was saying <laughs> So I was rudely interrupted by my daughter, my second daughter. <laughs> um, I'm going to do my little routine and talk to you guys about... <laughs> talk to you guys about, you know, the huge and how I do what I do, when I do it, how I do it. So, here we go. <laughs> So as you can see, my eyebrows are already lined in. No, I'm not showing y'all how I do my eyebrows unless y'all request it. Y'all just said chit chat and makeup. Y'all ain't say the whole routine from eyebrows down, okay? No. I did it off camera. I'm going to do my lashes off camera. And then y'all going to see the perfection as I just put it in my face. So here we go. I'm going to show y'all how I do it. And then, you know, I'm going to try and edit this video where it's not taking 50 minutes for me to do my makeup because usually it doesn't it usually taking like 30 minutes but it's my first time doing it on camera first time sitting down too so girl let me tell y'all it's not that easy I put it all over my face a little goes a long way always remember that a little goes a long way. You don't have to OD with the with the primer. I'll be seeing people do a little too much and you wonder why your face looks crazy at the end of your video. Or not even your video, at the end of your whole routine. All right, putting on my anti-itch. And I put it on a lot, even though it's clear. Yes, it is clear. It's not white. So you don't have to worry about trying to put on a lot of makeup or a lot of foundation. To cover your pink or white ashiness. And I pack that on. I really pack it on. Even though I'm not going anywhere because we're on quarantine and lockdown and it's pouring outside right now. But this is what I do. I'm not going to show y'all something that I don't do. And every time I wear my makeup, this is exactly what I do. Exactly. Now, here's the trick, right? Now, when you see girls or women, excuse me, do their makeup routine, they put the setting spray last. I, I don't put my setting spray last. Why? Because all the makeup that I am using is liquid. And I'm going to spray another liquid on top of liquid and it's going to melt my face. So, 
I don't know where I seen this. I don't know if it was on Instagram or YouTube, but I always put my setting spray first after I put my anti itch on my face, and I'm good to go. Like I don't reset my face after. Then another thing is for us women that wear our long lashes, and not all the lash glue is like 100% all of that. You spray on your face, and now your lash is loose. And this happened to me like 10 or 15 times. So I'm up here trying to, I have to take off my lashes and reapply my lash because now my lash is leaking off my face. It's coming off my face. Now I look crazy. Now I'm looking OD insane because now my lash is loose right here or back here. And now look, it's another 10 minutes because now I have to wait for my face to dry. It's another 10 minutes to happen crazy I know. for anyone that's wondering what i use for my lashes for my eyebrows i use a, a gel or a liquid pomade it's called she s dot h dot e it's five dollars not gonna ever beat no five dollars now the concealer that i'm using today i'm using my nars i don't even know the color it's chestnut. It says medium slash dark 2.5. I can't see. But those who know me, I wear glasses. And I can't see. So anyway, let me get to the business talk. Y'all all know me. Well, not all of y'all, but some of y'all who know me. My name is Daniqua. I go by Danny for short. The reason why I cut my name in half is because growing up, people really was getting on my nerves with the spelling of my name like oh like danique danique dominique meanwhile there's no in my name so they'll be up here messing with my name having me out here looking all types of crazy and then when i started working you know how they actually like would you rather go by now i have another nickname and i'm not going to say it over here but i have another nickname and I've been called this my whole life. And um, I'm like, it don't seem fair for people that really don't know me to call me this nickname. And I don't like going by Neek, N-I-Q-U-E, because my name is not N-I-Q-U-E. So, Danny was good. Now, for anybody who know me, I don't care how you spell it, but it is part of my name. It's D-A-N-E. Dan E. Danny. That made it 10 times easier for people to um, remember my name or to even, you know, it was like real easy for me. For people to call me Danny, for people to call me Danny, and I didn't feel like they were trying to sneak, sneak this me or anything like that. Um... Now, a little backstory on me. I worked in the food industry since I was 18 years old. And my first job was McDonald's. At the McDonald's, I had my first daughter. And I stopped working. Well, not stopped working, but I was working for Christides, the supermarket. I was working for Christides, and that was for two years. I worked for Christides, and then I quit because I wanted to be there more for my daughter. You know, it was a, it's a little backstory on that, but I'm not going to tell y'all right now. I mean, I don't know if I'm ever going to tell y'all, but people who know me knows the backstory. And my daughter, you know, she needed she needed me. She really needed me. So, I quit. And I started working for a bakery. I started working for a bakery. And I worked there for two years as well. I'm a two-yearer. Trust me. I'll be there for two years and then I won't. And I'll find another job and then I'll be there for two years and then I won't. But now that I am an adult, 
I have a career. <laughs> so it's not like I want to jump from spot to spot. And I don't want to be with who pays me more. I want the respect as well. But anyway, this is a concealer brush. For anybody that's wondering what kind of brush I'm using. Um, I worked at this bakery and I loved it. Loved it. It was like the best thing that happened to me. And it was like a real eye opener. I'm not really a sweet type of person. So when I started working it, it was like, oh, shoot. You know how much money comes in this store? Everybody come. Friday night was the popping night. Friday night, popping. Everybody and their mother. Now think about it. There's a birthday every single day. People celebrate Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? I mean, for little kids, you do like a little um, ice cream and cake thing. But on a serious note, like, it's a lot of money in the baking industry, right? And it's and it has evolved since then. But back to my story. <laughs> um, so I loved it there. I really, really loved it there. Like, if things didn't change drastically, I would still be there. I would still be there. But, you know... Things change, and I'm not, like, going to sit up here and be like, oh, I like change or whatever. But it, it didn't change for the good, and I don't I don't like drastic stupidness. So I left, and I went to another bakery. Now, this bakery, same thing, popping, popping. <laughs> Right, but it's it wasn't like a sweet bakery. It was a bread shop, and I loved it there until things changed. Here we go again. Like it changed for stupidness. Like people was getting fired that didn't even really need to get fired, and then they hired this lady. <laughs> now this is the funniest thing. I know this video is gonna reach people I used to work with. I know, but we used to call her cops. The reason why we called her cops. And she might see this video, and I don't care. What's up, boo? How are you? How's your life? Mine's great. Anyway, we called her cops because she was like a cop. She was mad annoying. She was like a helicopter. First, we called her helicopter. She was she would hover us, like be on, on us, on top of us. Like, she was really annoying. But then, instead of calling her helicopter, we called her cops. And then she would listen to our conversation on the phone underneath the register. And one of my coworkers, I'm going to call her Tina. Tina was like, yo, Danny, you better watch it because you don't know. She could be listening because that red dot, that red dot means they listening. And I was like, and I don't care. That's one thing about me. I don't kiss butt. I never kiss butt. Never. And to this day, I still don't kiss butt. I'm not going to kiss your butt. I don't care. I don't. So cops came along and... She got fired. Yo, everybody be getting fired. I don't be getting fired. She got fired. And after she got fired, the higher ups understood like what was going on. And they wanted to fake promote me. And I was cool with the promotion. Like, yeah, promote me. Ah, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I quit that job too. And I went to another bakery. This is the third bakery. I went to another bakery. The owners were racist. And they might be seeing this too. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Hi. They were racist. They didn't like me. Meanwhile, everybody likes me. And they didn't like me. And I quit. I was only there for like maybe three weeks. Three weeks a month. And I quit. I didn't like the establishment and how they pretended. Like, don't get me wrong, they banked. They really was banking. And I understand that. Like, they really had some money coming in. Like, they cakes was costly, and they were really nicely decorated. But I didn't like them. And I go off of vibes. And I've been going off of aura. I always went off of aura. And I, I don't, I didn't like them. So I quit. I'm always quitting something. I'll be quitting. So I was bouncing from job to job after I quit that last bakery. Then I landed in another bakery. Now, I'm not going to put their name up there, but they are from Harlem, right? And 
Like, I really looked up to the owner because I'm like, yo, she's black. She's doing this. This is how I want to be, you know, in a few years, you know, when I decide to really open up my bakery. Like, I really want to be like her. Like, she got her own, she got her stuff together. Like, I'm with it. She ain't have her stuff together. She was very disrespectful. The way she talked to people, she talked to you, down to you, like you her kid. Like, sis, I'm not your kid. So she didn't have her stuff together, and I, I couldn't, I couldn't, Mm-mm. I ain't like that. Don't talk to me like I'm one of your kids. And she talked to everyone like that, and I don't like that. So that was it for my bakery um, experience. But I worked in about four, I'm gonna say four or five bakeries, and I did that over a span of maybe like six years. But I've been in the food industry. I was, excuse me, I was in the food industry for about 10 years, like legit 10 years, from 18 to 28. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to go to school, pick up a career, because I'm not doing this. But I still wanted to own my own business. Like, I still wanted to own my own bakery. Like, that's where Danny B's Cakery. I skipped one bakery. It's in Harlem as well, but they are very, very nice. It was very, very nice. Um, my only thing is they didn't let, let you take, like, free food. Like, first of all, your cookies cost bread, sis. You should be happy. I want to take some. Take. Not buy. Take some. So, um, yeah, I worked in about four or five bakeries. But I still wanted to own my own business, my own bakery. I still wanted to do it all. Like, why not? Why not? You know, but as things, as life happens and, you know, things change, um, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a bakery. I don't have time to really, like, sit up here and bake. I really don't. I don't. I'm not even going to hold you. I don't. I wouldn't be able to have, um, I wouldn't be able to work, like physically go out and work. Like my life would be strictly the bakery. And that's not how I wanted it to be. Not yet at all. So before I got carpal tunnel, I was like, you know what? What can I do? What can I do? I didn't want to do just lashes and hair because that takes just as much time as, you know, you have to research. You just can't get your bundles from anybody. And if people tell you that they're lying, like, you really have to go and get your bundles from, like, a good, reliable source. Like, you just can't be like, oh, I'm going to get my bundles from Su- Susie Lee in, and the hair is trash, it's synthetic. I don't want nobody to be like, yo, I bought... My bundles from Daniqua and them drinks was trash. Like, I tried to wash my hair and all this and all that. I don't want none of that smoke. So I said, where is something where I could still put my love and devotion and dedication? And that's what I did. I researched because I researched everything. I researched how to make gloss and... And here I am. I really was like, how do I make gloss? And I just started making gloss from then on. Now, when I when I put my all into something, that's what I do. Like I really just go ahead and first. Like I I don't I don't just be like, oh, let me take my time. No, because everything that I do, it comes out perfect. You should see my kids. <laughs> like they, like I said, everything I do, they come out perfect. So I started making gloss, and then Danny D already was trying to um, use that as my bakery. That's why it's cakery, because I was going to do like mini everything. Everything was going to be mini. Mini cakes, mini bars, mini cupcakes, 
small cupcakes. Like, it was going to be fire. And, yes, I do know how to bake. That's that's the thing. Like, I know it's not rocket science. It's really not. So, I, I was going to do everything. I was going to do everything. But, like I said, things be changing. So, here I am. I own, cos- I own a cosmetic company. Yes, and my business is LLC. Like, this is not no last minute, oh, I wait type joint. I feel like that should be one of the first things you do when you get in your business up off its feet is LLC it. Because you don't know how many people are watching you. And, oh, I don't like her, so I'm about to just steal her whole business idea. And I'm from New York. I'm from Harlem. And everybody watches everybody from Harlem. West side, east side, downtown, uptown. Everybody watches everybody. And you don't know who don't like you. Who's smiling in your face and they're like, oh, yeah, we cool. It's a dub. So I was like, you know, boom, bam, boom. I'm going to do my own ones and twos and I'm LLC my business. And um, I LLC my business because... I didn't want nobody stealing my idea. Now, when you go on my site and you see Cake Gloss, the reason why I named it Cake Gloss is because everything is either named is named after a cake, like red velvet cake, chocolate cake, strawberry shortcake. It's named after a cake. You know, when I decided to do my second video, it wasn't going to be a tell-all, a chit-chat, none of that. It was basically going to be my catalog and um, why my catalog is this and whatnot. But since I've seen that a lot of people really didn't get a feel of um, why my business is my business, I was like, you know what? I'll just do a little chit-chat and see if I could help you guys out. But y'all got to comment below. Y'all can't just be like, let it be. Like, if you don't like something, you ordering from a place, you're going to say, listen, I want to like this, that, and the third. And if you don't like it the way it come out, you're going to say something, right? So that's what you should do with me. You should say something. So besides lip gloss and um, my hydration kit, I have lashes. Lashes was the second thing that I, I put out because I knew I wanted to do lashes. Like, I just really started getting into makeup, getting into makeup in 2018. I mean, don't get me wrong, I always wore makeup every here and there. Like, I put on lipstick, and lipstick is not my forte. I put on some lipstick, um, foundation, and whatnot, and not knowing what the hell I'm doing, but I was doing it anyway, and that'd be it, like, but 18, 2018, that was it, like, I was hooked. I really was like hooked. Like I was, I liked it. I was like, yes, baby girl. I'm trying to be down with the dip set. Well, then you gotta get your lips wet. I was really into it, and I liked how I looked. So here I am, doing my makeup every once in a while, once in a blue. Every once in a blue, getting my face right. Date night, right? Um, so lashes was my second release and and lashes was like it. Like I really I really was feeling the lash look like everybody's doing lashes. I'm going to hop on a bandwagon and do lashes too. Why not? Right? So, that's 
So I decided to do lashes. It was only supposed to be five, but I think I do I did like eight, eight or nine. And after my lashes, I did um because it was four, right? And I'm like, yo, people lips be dead, whack, dead, chapped. <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna do the hydration kit. Now with the hydration kit, it's a sugar lip scrub. It's edible, but y'all don't, y'all not supposed to eat everything. Like, no. So, you're supposed to scrub the dead skin off your lips. Right? Scrub it off, scrub it off, scrub it off. And then, you wipe it off with a warm rag. And then, you put these organic oils. Right? Now, it's not lip gloss, so it's not going to keep your lips shiny the purpose of the oil is to reintroduce hydration back into your lips you gotta remember you just took off all your skin like now some people they use lip gloss which i'm not gonna say don't use but i me personally i definitely will rehydrate my lips first let that moisture soak in and then i will put on whatever after that This is what I use to set my face. No, I do not bake. I'm not a baker. Like that. I bake, but I don't bake. <laughs> but, um. All right, now they look like somebody. But, um, that was the whole purpose of the hydration kit. I know a lot of people don't understand it, but that's what the hydration kit is for. It's to scrape off your dead skin, basically. Not rub off, scrape off. You're scraping it off because the crystals, they're thick. It's going to scrape it off. And then you wipe off your scrub with warm water and a rag, a clean rag. A clean rag. And then you put the oil on. You, rub, you roll it on and you put as much as you want. And it's going to introduce, reintroduce hydration back into your lips. And then you could go on with your day. If I were you, I would do it at night. Not in the daytime. And um, that's it. Now, we're going to go fast forward to this year. So, I'm in my head like, I just want to do something that's, you know, still on the natural and organic path. And that's why I came up with the body oil. Now, the body oil, perfect. <laughs> I love it love 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 it i have two of them right now i have the birthday cake it has um sprinkles at the bottom the sprinkles are non-edible that means don't try to eat them okay now you have the um the sprinkles at the bottom and the oil just smells wonderful like I said, a little goes a long way. You don't have to use a lot, right? And it's not a powerful scent. Like I do is like OD powerful. Um, but it's really good. It's really, really good. And then I have a chocolate one. It it smells like chocolate. It's really nice. It's dark brown. It's a smaller version. It is only coming one size. The birthday cake comes in two sizes. Fonts Four ounce glass bottle and a two ounce glass bottle. And the chocolate only come in a two ounce. Now, that's what I have for the body. As far as the body oil, I'm also going to have a face serum. Serum? I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Whatever. I'm going to have that as well. I was supposed to bring it out already, but... Things take time, and we all know that things take time. So I'm taking my time with that, and that's going to be in a one-ounce glass bottle. And the reason why that's going to be in a one-ounce glass bottle, because like I said, a little goes a long way. Like, you don't need a lot, of, a, a lot of oil to put in your body. You could also use these as massaging oils. Um, not the face one. The face one is, is for your face, right? 
and it's not going to have a set in it. Um, and also, pretty soon, I'm going to be releasing my, um, I'm going to be releasing my body whipped cream or frosting. I haven't the name yet, but I think I'm going to go with frosting to go with my, um, my cake, my bakery theme. That's what I'm going to do. Um, that's going to be released later on this year. I wanted it to be released this summer, but because we're on quarantine and, you know, we're on quarantine and I don't feel like a lot of people are going to buy it only because we're on quarantine and a lot of people who take quarantine serious like how I do. And I don't go outside or take my kids outside for unnecessary reasons. They're not going to buy it. So, I think I'm going to release it. If not this year, next year. I have a lot of things in store for this year and next year. But whatever I don't release this year, I'm for sure going to release next year. This summer. Um, and I have something else cooking. Like my good, good friend. I'm not going to say her name. She seen it. I sent it to her. I asked her opinion. And she was like, yeah, it's a girl. And I'm like, good, because I am. <laughs> That's going to be either this fall or next year. Um, and that's it. I mean, if you guys ask me questions, comment below. I can answer anything you you know, have an inquiry about. Um, another thing I wanted to say is I do have something new. I've been posting it since I dropped it. Um, I haven't been really in the um, create creative mode, but I did create some new stuff. And I want to show you guys what it is. What's up? I want to show you guys what it is and um, give you a little tea on that. Not that fake tea. Everybody be talking about like, girl, I got the tea for you. No, the tea on my business. That's what I'm doing. All right. This is my value pack. I haven't put it on the website yet because I don't know if I want to. But you could buy all of these glosses individual. Okay. And the pink one is Pink Lemonade. The one with the glitter is Mr. Softy. And then I have the fan favorite, Pineapple Upside Down. Everyone loves that. Everyone. And then I also have keychains. We all know I'm the keychain god. Not them other keychain people or businesses that be doing keychain. I'm not gonna down I'm not gonna downplay nobody hustle, but because I am who I am, I'm a little shady just a little bit all the time. Um here's my keychain. It's a double gloss. This is Mr. Softy. It smells like ice cream, like vanilla ice cream. It's a clear gloss. With pink and blue glitter. And then this is pink lemonade. I don't know if you guys can see it. If you cannot see it, go on my website, www.dannydscakery.online. And you can see all of my new, my new items. This one is 15. It comes with a large Mr. Softy and a small... Pink lemonade. And then I have a single gloss keychain, which is nine bucks. You could get Mr. Softy. You could get pink lemonade. You could get um, the pineapple stuff down cake. You could get whatever flavor you want. Um, whatever's available. I'm not going to say whatever flavor you want. I mean, it's whatever is available and everything is available. It's just that um, I'm going to keep editing my website. I'm going to keep editing my website. 
every week and take out what I don't want. Now, I'm going to do my lashes off camera, baby girl. You trying to be that with a good set. So I think you got to get your lips set. Now, for everybody who knows me, I know I'm a dip set fan. So here and there, I'm going to be throwing out some dip set when I'm doing my videos because dip set is life forever. I'll be right back. And this is the finished look. I want to say thank you to everyone who took the time out and watched my lengthy video. If you have any questions or you want to just say how pretty I look, like comment and subscribe make sure you comment below um for anyone who wants to know what lashes i'm wearing now and the lashes that i wore in the last video it's called cupcake and these are the lashes these are my favorite one of my favorites and every lash come with a spoolie um yeah, I want to say thank you so much. Oh, and also on my lips today, I have on pink lemonade. So if you like the, the way my lips look, order yours on my website. Um, This code is called thank you. Yeah, I better know how to spell thank you. It's just thank you. Like, thank you, come again. But um, use this code, thank you. It gives you an extra 10% off on all orders, $25 and over. I might change that. You never know. You know, I'm happy. It's been a whole year. <laughs> so, like I said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Okay? And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a uncle to tell a cousin to tell a mother to watch my videos. All right? Thank you, everybody. I love y'all. And I'm going to see y'all in two weeks. Two. Not one two weeks from today. All right, bye.